Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about sleep apnea and how to fix it. And the solution is ribonucleic acid, RNA, ribonucleic acid. So let me give you some background on this. There's two kinds of sleep apnea. One is obstructive, meaning that the tissues here are too big or they're in the way of breathing. And number two is central, meaning central nervous system. And the cerebellum or the breathing center doesn't uh, remember to breathe at night because it's so tired. So those are the two kinds. Now in my history, being a clinician, I've seen a lot of people who have been to the sleep study center at the, at the local hospital, U University of Michigan Hospital, and every single one of them have come back with the same diagnosis, which is obstructive sleep apnea. And I put them on ribonucleic acid, which is for central nervous system sleep apnea, and they get better, and their sleep apnea goes away, nine out of ten times. So what I'm saying is that there is a misdiagnosis 90% of the time. So even though they spend the whole night in the sleep study center, and they're hooked up to a bunch of machines, and it costs a lot of money, and it's kind of a big deal, the diagnosis is incorrect 90% of the time because I fixed their sleep apnea with a supplement that's made to repair the nervous system, the brain, the cerebellum, the uh, sleeping center of the brain stem back here. So, um, so people with the uh, CPAP machines or the BiPAP machines to force air down their lungs like, and they were diagnosed obstructive, that's usually still central nervous system. It still gets fixed with this. So after the sleep study center, or after the sleep study is done, the center always gives them BiPAP machine or CPAP machine anyways. So the treatment's always the same regardless of the diagnosis. And I've seen a lot of other, uh, there's some dentists that have like a, a dental implant, like a bite splint that opens up the pathways back here for, for better air. Like that's cheap and it, I've seen that work before. So there are some good alternatives to the BiPAP machine and the CPAP machine. So um, this, yeah, there's only three people that I can think of in the last 10, 15 years that I haven't been able to help because they truly had obstructive sleep apnea. Every dozens and dozens of other people, it's been central nervous system. So RNA, and then now the one that I sell has um, I'm going to write this down, 175 milligrams of RNA per tablet. And um, I've talked, I talked to a guy a few weeks ago, and he was sold a bottle of um, green food, um, chlorella or, so, or alfalfa, I think it was. I don't know what it was. But they told him it's got RNA in it, and his sleep apnea never got better. Well, it... It probably didn't have RNA, and if it did, it wasn't nearly 175 milligrams. Now, most people, when they have sleep apnea, need minimum six a day. I've seen it as high as 15 a day. The worst case I've ever seen was a guy, he was a truck driver, and he carried his, bi his CPAP around with him everywhere he went, and he would have nightmares all night, and it was, he, his bed was elevated up, and at the end of the night, or when he woke up in the morning, he'd be... Uh, he would slide down, he was like all the way down at the foot of the bed, and he, it was just a mess. He had a horrible sleep, and he was always tired, waking up tired. And he was on 15 a day for a year and a half, and all of that went away. He didn't need his CPAP machine, his nightmares went away. He could sleep uh, flat on his back. Fantastic results. It took a year and a half. That's the longest I've seen it take. Um, typically, it's six months. And another really bad case that I remember, it took here just over a year. And these have been confirmed then with other sleep studies later that they slept um, breathing fully through the night. Or maybe they just uh, had less episodes of sleep apnea during the night. So great results with RNA uh, most of the time. And if RNA doesn't help you, then there's going to be something else you need to look at. But always remember the, sh the diet. I always go back to the diet. You can't have sugar, it inflames your brain. You can't have gluten or you know grains, carbs. That stuff inflames your brain. And when your brain is inflamed, it swells up a little bit. And, um, <clears throat> and then you have dysfunction of your 
brain and your sleep center and your breathing center and all that stuff. So great stuff right here. Have fun with that.